Here is the infrared laser tag game I built for Pegasus Airsoft. You see here it's the IR receiver dome. A speaker for sound. This is where the smoke shell goes off. It sits in this uh, glass pot here. Um, I need to get the alligator clips, but that should be it. It'll short out with some nichrome wire and ignite a smoke puck. Um, there's three infrared receivers in the dome. A uh, battery holding spot here. Another LED in the back. Um, along with the mount. So that'll mount to cars or buildings. Um, inside is an Arduino Nano. A DC to DC uh, buck converter, a small 5 volt amplifier, a small MP3 player with preloaded sound clips. And uh, right now I've got it so it can be reset with a remote at any time. So during the game, if the uh, device is hit with IR laser, um, it will be dead. Uh, and then the admin can reset it with this. That's a reset, so it's cycling on. You can also use the remote control to test the hit. So this is a button for hit. So you can hear the sound there. It's got lights. The smoke shell will typically go off. Got some sound effects. Red LED indicates that the vehicle or building is destroyed. Um, in regards to the laser, I made this here uh, with the 3D printer. Um, it also has Arduino Nano inside of it. Uh, it's made to look like a LAW M72. Uh, there's a safety there, speaker for sound effect when launching. Uh, and then the extension tube itself, uh, which works uh, by lifting up this lever. You slide the tube in, you slide the tube out. Um, I need to finish installing a small aluminum piece there, but it will be a secondary safety for the trigger mechanism. Uh, trigger mechanism here. Uh, fires, also fires inside there. Probably can't see it, but there's a 40 millimeter airsoft grenade in there that will also fire to issue percussion and some haptic feedback when firing this. Um, I have two flip up sights, uh, one in the front, one in the back. I need to finish making the springs for it, uh, but you can see the lever here. So you push this and it'll flip up. This side here, when you pull the extension back, this will flip up, um, and then the trigger here. Uh, I'll show you here. This is what it, the safety right here. So, if it needs a fire, take off the safety. You'll hear a click because it's dry fire right now. There's no ammo in it. So there's the dry fire sound. To reload or reset, use the remote control again. There's an IR receiver hidden right in this little pocket here. I want you to hit it with the remote that reloads the launcher or resets the launcher. I'll also reset the receiver here. So you go through the reset cycle. And so I'm gonna fire the launcher at it. Looks like I missed, wasn't paying attention. Reset real quick. Accuracy up a little bit better. There's a hit. And that's it. IR LED laser tag.